At Stringer, we love high quality video that makes the deadline. The earlier your submission, the better chance of a download, which leads to money. However, recording longer video leads to large raw files which slows down your upload time. To increase upload speed, you will need to compress your video files. There are many different programs that can compress video files including QuickTime Player and editing programs like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. If you have MOV files, the easiest way to compress a video is with QuickTime. Simply open the video file and select the output quality you want. Ideally, you will select the same quality that your camera shoots. Name the file and choose a new save destination and you are done. To make sure that the file is compressed, you can compare against the old file and see the difference. If you use Adobe software, use the media encoder which offers more file options and allows you to compress multiple clips at the same time. To begin, add your file to the queue by clicking the plus sign in the upper left hand corner. From there, you can choose a preset to start with or change the settings manually. For presets, either the Vimeo 1080p or the YouTube 1080p will work best for uploading to Stringer. Simply click Apply Preset in the upper right hand corner. To change the settings manually in your file, click on the info below the file. If not done already, select the H.264 format for all HD footage. Make sure the match source is selected to ensure that you are not stretching the frame rate or the frame size. Next, set the maximum bitrate between 16 and 20 megabytes and the target rate between 14 and 16 megabytes to keep a constant data flow. Under audio, select AAC and stereo channels to get the best sound. Set this bitrate to 320 kilobytes per second. Finally, check Use Maximum Render Quality and then click OK. To change the file name and set the render destination, click on Output File. Once you have changed all your settings, click the Play button in the upper right hand corner to render the file or files. From there, you will begin to see the files compressing. Once these are done, check to make sure that they have compressed properly. Now that you have smaller high quality files, upload them to Stringer and make sure to add the proper metadata.